So we came so close to being my best market day ever. Lord knows that I've tried I did get a tiny bit buzzed. You said I was the lady came up right like out of nowhere no from behind her and was like, I'll take that. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Happy, I almost choked on my spit, market day. I have a very handsome husband with me today. <laughs> We're doing the Oxford Wine and Beer Festival. It is, I think it's from two to 10. I believe there's supposed to be some decent rain coming in like later on. So I'm hoping that somehow just faces and passes by us. Uh, we're under a tent, it's outside. It's gonna be like nice weather though, aside from later on. Like in the beginning, it's gonna be nice. I'm hoping, I mean, it's a paid event. So, and I think from what I've seen, cause I haven't been to it before, it, it looks like it should be pretty good traffic. So we're crossing our fingers. The only thing I am a little nervous for is this is my first Oxford show without college students. And if you've seen my market vlogs in the past, I do really well with the college aged demographic. So I'm hoping there's still some lingering ones there that just stay in Oxford over the summer. Um, or at least like people my age are gonna be there. Praying for that. Um, our goal today, so the table fee was $100, and it's just a one day event. It's my first night event, actually. Um, but my goal is gonna be 300. Like, that is gonna be my goal, but my, like, what I really want is over 500. <laughs> Obviously, you want, you want as much as you can get, but 500, just cause in my past Oxford shows, I've almost always done over 600 in one day. Um, but because the college kiddos aren't gonna be there, I think 500 will be like a, I'm really excited about that kind of goal. So um, we're heading there. My lips, very inflamed. They're gonna look crazy. I feel like the Joker, just because it's like really chapped in this corner at the moment. And so like, it looks like I'm wearing lipstick outside of my, like drawn outside of my lips. It still looks like I got Botox done. So, or lip injections, whatever it is. We're heading there. I will film a little bit, hopefully, of me setting up and then um, I'll do a tour and everything because we should have time in between like setting up and then it starting where I can do like a more casual like show you around. And then we need to get Starbucks. We should be right next to Starbucks. So I didn't get it on the way there. I'm so sorry. It is like we're on country roads and swerving. So I'm going to get off here and I will see you in a second. <laughs>
minutes in, the music just stopped, so we're not gonna get copywritten right now. Um, we have had three sales so far, so honestly, pretty good. <laughs> sold two mystery bags and then a Stanley charm. So I think we're sitting at around 30. We're at 30 right now. Um, I have my Starbucks. Starbucks is literally like, if you can see it, it's right there. <laughs> Amazing. And we're right next to the band also. So it will get loud and I will turn you off. So I just wanted to give you a check-in. I also, oh, I didn't tell you guys, I had brought a Craftsman fan runs on batteries. Randy has like all craftsmen for his tools. So, like we already had that. They sell for 70 at like Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. Um, but I got that on eBay for $25 brand new. So that is a steal. And it's really, it has three settings. It is nice. I'm actually gonna turn it back on because I don't want to hide here. Um, okay, I'm gonna turn you guys off and we'll do a couple more check-ins as the music breaks. check-in we are raining it is raining the crowd is definitely not great but I will say with the rain sweatshirt sales I've sold three or four which is awesome because it was very hot earlier. so I mean give it a take there I sold a ton of bookmarks some Stanley charms a couple of um, keychains and I say overall we're doing pretty okay I want to say I made my 300 goal, like my goal so far, but like I don't think we're at my goal goal. So we still have plenty of time. It's 534, it ends at 10. So I think we are on track. I just messaged Ariel. Ariel is at a um, event in Troy. It's the one I wanted to go to, um, but I didn't get accepted into it. It's the Strawberry Festival, which is like what even sparked my strawberry bookmarks in the first place. Um, and I asked how it was going because I think this is her first outdoor event. Um, I know you're watching right now, Ariel. I'm hoping it's going amazing and that your tent is going amazing as well. Um, mine just poured a bunch of water on someone. So. <laughs> uh, is it the tent's fault? No, I don't think so. But it's some for some reason pulling <laughs> in just the area where people walk in. And I feel awful because... It just so happened to be where someone was standing, and so she just got drenched. Um, Randy is currently getting some beer. I will say I'm a little tipsy, um, and that's because I didn't realize that. Ugh. So when you sign up, every person that's in your tent gets, well, I don't know if it's every, but like it's just Randy and I. We both got our own individual tickets. These tickets are $35. So we got $70 worth of tickets, and it gets you five free drinks. I'm on with my third and I'm tipsy and so I need to space it out now. Um, so if you think about it, that's like $70 in tickets we, and that booth fee was 100 That is a deal. That's like $30, right? If we were just coming to the event, we would have had to pay that. This is a great. Even though it's raining and there's not a lot of people here, I'm already going to tell you now I would do it again. And my um, booth neighbor said this is like the slowest and they've been doing this for 15 years. So like that only makes me feel like next year could be amazing, you know? You know? So I will give you guys a check in later on and let you know if we've made the goal goal, which is 500 or not. See you soon. Okay, um, hang on. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. All those um, hanging are bookmarks. They're yeah, and then those are like um, keychains, belt bag charms, and then on the other end are Stanley charms. <laughs> this is cool too. That's just a Timu decor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can, I think you can probably get it for a dollar if you go on there. Okay, uh, 7.47. We have two hours left. We've definitely made our $500 goal, so I'm so stoked about that. I don't know how far over we've made, but we've definitely made it. Um, so anything from this point on is just, well, I mean, it's been profit, but pure profit. So, um, 
yeah, I will get off here and then I'm really hurt and my lips are hurt by Ed. Um, I'm on my last glass of wine, which is good. I don't need any more. <laughs> and things are going well. It's still gross out. It's still off and on raining. So I'm curious how like uh, tonight goes with, you know, packing stuff up in the dark because I've never done a night market like this. Um, so I'll let you know. If I don't check on here again, I will get on here in the next week and update you. <laughs> 8.30 check-in. I try to do it in between songs. Everyone is leaving. It ends at 10. Like I'm, we're still making sales though, so I don't want to pack up, but I am gonna kind of wait out and see how it does in the next half hour and then kind of decide because like I no longer have neighbors anywhere near me. Um, I'll let you know. Welcome back to my office. It's four days post-show and I have to do my wrap-up for you. So it was really gloomy and rainy 90% of the time. It started at 2 p.m. and it started raining at 3.30. It's technically not 90%, but like at least 70% of the time. It was rainy and gloomy. So that means there weren't a ton of people out, but with that being said, it still went really well. It, I had consistent sales every hour and that's something I haven't had in a while. And so that pleased me. I can imagine if it were nice weather, I could have probably doubled what I made, which is amazing. I would, it was like I said, it was a good show. So if nice weather had been upon us, it would have been an amazing show. I think I came close to breaking my best like sales day ever, but that still goes to Oxford's apple butter. And this was another show in Oxford. So again, I've never done as well as I do in Oxford. I think that's just my demographic. So let's get into the stats, shall we? I had my husband with me. Um, you guys saw him. He, he made, he made two sales and he will not stop telling people he made two sales. But when he's, making sales. I'm going to the bathroom. Like I go, whatever. Um, he doesn't like talk to people when he's made a sale. It's like they went into my booth, found something and brought it to him. Like he did not do any legwork here other than taking the payment, which like, I'm impressed that he knows how to do that. Um, I did teach him, but he did make two sales. He sold my last tumbler. I'm so glad I don't have those anymore. I have one, uh, but it's, my display piece. If someone really wanted to buy it, I would let them, but it's not like, I don't have a sign for it. It's not for sale. It's just holding my uh, Stanley pouch and a charm on it to show I sell Stanley pouches and charms. <laughs> okay, I didn't keep track of every single thing that sold, but I will say majority that sold are bookmarks and sweatshirts. It was hot, but the rain helped because people were cold. And uh, so I got rid of sweatshirts, which is amazing. The cool thing about this event and what I didn't realize going in is that vendors got tickets for vending. And so we got $70 worth of drink tickets for free, free. I mean, we have a table set up, but like the table was $100 to be there, but then you get $70 of drink tickets and then just a really cool atmosphere, like 100% worth it, 100% we'll do this again next year. I loved it. I thought it was fun. I really liked the people. Everyone was friendly. It did get to a point because it was a drinking event. Um, later on in the day, people were getting a little sloshy, like the ones that had been there for a long time. Um, they were buying things though. I did have one like <laughs> experience. What are you doing? I did have one experience and it wasn't like a, a negative. It was more of like, I don't know what to do in this like in the moment I was like, I like, I will just tell you. <laughs> I had a um, really, really awesome uh, girl come in and she is a local barber and um, we were just chatting for a long while and I did not realize there was another, excuse you. I had just spent the last like 20 minutes chatting up this person. Um, we were just like vibing. Oh, I enjoyed them a lot, but <laughs> while we were talking, Another girl and her friend came sloshing in and I did not like, I was not paying attention. So I didn't like notice them lingering when I was talking to 
um, my customer <laughs> about, she was like, I want to buy one of your mystery bags. Can you just like, like explain them to me? Um, and I, so I lifted the mystery, like I have a bin, it was on the floor of my mystery, like bookmark, dates with a bookmark, and then um, my mystery bags. And I was like, yeah, I have um, a medium and large left. They both are mama, so like it's like, there's gonna be something mom related in there, which is why I have mama written on it. And I was like, um, I was feeling them, and I was like, this one definitely has like a tote bag and a t-shirt. And I was like, this one for sure has a sweatshirt in it. And I was and I telling them the prices, and like before, <laughs> my customer had a chance to answer. This like <laughs> lady came up right like out of nowhere from behind her, and was like, I'll take that, and like grabbed it. <laughs> and I'm just like, I did not know what to do. I was looking at my customer. I was like. Like, did she want that one? Like, and then she's like standing there, like, we're both processing. Hi, hi. Just, we're both processing what had just happened. It like came out of nowhere Daddy. from behind, did not see her. Daddy. And um, we're looking at each other. It was like, I was like, I, I think we were both uncomfortable. She's like, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine, fine. She wants that, that's fine. I was like, well, I have this one left. She's like, well, that's not my size. And I was like, are you sure you didn't no, want that? No. And she's like, it, it's okay, it's okay. And so um, she ended up getting like a, one of my sweatshirts. So yeah, that that was like a moment where I was not prepared for, but like for next time, I know there are gonna be some people that aren't gonna exact, like I, I don't think this lady meant to be rude at all. I think she was just feeling the wine kicking in, you know? Um, and I had a couple customers, like it was not just that person, a couple customers that were kind of like that. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that was, I've been to Run Guys Brewery before, but like those are like 6 p.m. And Six. so you didn't really get like that crowd Six. yet, you know, whereas this one was until 10 p.m. Mister, whereas this one was till 10 p.m. So it was just, it was different. The only other thing, Oh, I did have one person come in that um, came in with their kid and like they really wanted a bookmark and mom didn't want to buy it for him. That's fine. I don't like you get that all the time and because the sh I have shiny things like kids love coming into my booth and like just touching stuff. Um, and mom's like, no, you can just make that yourself. And then they left. And I'm just thinking like, I mean, you could make it yourself, but you're going to be spending a lot of money on the supplies and you're going to have to get things in bulk. And then at that point you're spending like, what, $50 on one bookmark? You might as well just buy a $14 one. But like, who am I to judge, you know? <laughs> I don't like, I mean, like I would love, like make it yourself, but like don't do those kind of comments in a booth that is selling them, you know? Or be kinder about it. I'm not sure. I've never had like a really nasty interaction by any means. I've had people like walk by and say, I would never spend that money on a bookmark, but like not talk to me, but like talk to their friends loudly in front of me, you know? Um, that's like the worst I've ever had, like comment wise. So I, I consider that a win. I did have a couple of my old uh, kids from the school I worked at in my last like, Ohio job and I loved seeing them again I just like those interactions <laughs> that's why I like doing the like Preble County type um, or area Oxford isn't Preble County affairs because I get excited thinking like oh I might see someone I know and like get to catch up on like their life so yeah I saw those two um, like a family together and then I got to see um, one of my other students who has her family owns a winery and so their winery was um, at this event obviously so that that made my day just seeing them I did get a tiny bit buzzed by 5 p.m. I was a little buzzed but then I started spreading them out more and um, it, after that I was fine <laughs> I think I just had too many right next to each other and I hadn't ate um, dinner yet <laughs> If I didn't have those drink tickets, I would not have drank that much. <laughs> I had five glasses. And I got, we even got a wine glass and a beer glass included. Like, that's a deal. If you live around the area, that's a good one to go to. So, um, anyways, my final wrap-up. Let's go into numbers. I made a total. Let me give you the split. In cash, I did $50. Not a lot of cash. Everyone was doing Venmo or card. So, cash, $50. 
In Venmo, I did $245, and in Square, I did $504. So that brought me to a grand total of $799, and that was 31 sales. So we did good, we did good. Uh, so happy with that, it came close. I, my best sales day, like a one day sale, was 800 and something, and that was another Oxford event, and so we came so close to being my best market day ever, um, but alas, we did not, but it's my second best market day ever. It is my second. So, um, yeah, top three markets have been in Oxford, I'm telling you, that's my favorite place, that is. Um, whew. yeah, and 31 sales, I can't be mad at that, that's like... I'm not sure what that is an hour because we technically, I didn't tell you guys this, we technically left, we started packing up at 9 p.m. because that's, our row had already all gone except for one person and um, the like show staff were coming around like at nine saying like you should probably start wrapping it up um, and so we did and that's, we ended up getting home at 10.30 which awesome, I thought it was, we were gonna get home at midnight so even better, um, yeah. That, those were my final show day thoughts. I had a good one and uh, I'm excited. The next one is gonna be in Tip City. I've never done a Tip City festival. It's a street um, show, like fair. And so that could be really good. I'm excited for it. So I will see you guys in my next video. It's gonna be a studio vlog. Bye.